When converting money or different units, we are representing an amount in a different unit of measure. We can show the comparison between two units using unit ratio notation. For example, one pound is equal to approximately $1.35. This comparison can be written in the ratio notation like so, one pound to $1.35. So for every one pound you have, it is worth $1.35. How could we use this information about pounds and dollars to convert 42 pounds into dollars or $210 into pounds. If each pound is equal to $1.35 and I have 42 pounds, then I will have 42 lots of $1.35. Therefore, 40 pounds is equal to 42 times by $1.35, which gives us the answer of $56.70. Converting $210 to pounds, we know every $1.35 is equal to one pound. We can see how many $1.35 fit into $210 quickly by dividing $210 by $1.35. By doing this, we end up with 155.5 recurring. This means that $210 is approximately 155 pounds and 56 pence. We could have come to these answers using our Duma method dividing up and multiplying across, which was explained in our previous videos. Let's lay out our information for the first part of the question again. Divide up, multiply across. Now let's try with the second part of the question. Divide up, multiply across. It still works. And it's a quick way of finding the missing value with ratios. These next couple of example questions are ways how unit ratios can be used to solve problems. Here's an example problem. Kofi is traveling from England to France and is thinking of getting a backpack. He's trying to decide if it would be cheaper to get the backpack in England or in France. In England, the bag costs 27 pounds. In France, the same bag costs 30 euros. The exchange rate for pounds to euros is one pound to one euro and 18 cents. Should Kofi buy the bag before or after he leaves England? To solve this problem, we would have to compare the prices when they are the same currency. So we can either convert the pounds to euros or the euros to pounds. Let's start with converting 27 pounds into euros. We lay out our information, then we divide up and multiply across. 27 divided by 1 multiplied by 1.18 equals to 31 euros and 86 cents. Comparing the two euro amounts, it's clear that it's cheaper in France. Kofi should buy the bag when he is in France. If euros were converted instead, we'd lay out the ratio in a similar way. Divide up, multiply across. 30 divided by 1.18 multiplied by 1 equals to 25.4237, which is equal to approximately 25 pounds and 42 pence. Comparing the amounts in pounds, we come to the same conclusion. It is still cheaper to buy the bag in France. In some questions, they may ask to change a ratio into a unit ratio. For example, in a classroom, the ratio of books to pens is 4 to 5. Write the ratio in the form 1 to n and n to 1. When you see this notation, they're asking you to write it in a unit ratio. All this means is change the ratio into a unit ratio where the books are the unit and where the pens are a unit. We have the ratio 4 to 5, where the 4 represents books and the 5 represents pens. Using our same technique, divide up, multiply across, then we divide up, multiply across for the second one as well. We have now created unit ratios. The purpose is to see how much one of something is worth, like what we've seen earlier. Let's use this n to 1 unit ratio form to find out how many pounds one dollar is worth using our first ratio. Once again, we lay out our ratio and information. We divide up and multiply across. This shows us that every dollar is equal to approximately 74 pence. Let's have a look at a potential problem using the unit ratio. A pair of sunglasses costs $50. In euros, the same pair of sunglasses cost 45 euros and 68 cents. How many dollars make one euro and how many euros make one dollar? 
Let's lay out our information as a ratio. We essentially want to convert the ratio into two different unit ratios. The first part of the question wants to see how many one euro is worth, so we start with one under the euros. Next, as you've probably guessed by now, we divide up and multiply across. One divided by 45.68, then multiply by 50, gives us 1.0946. Therefore, approximately $1.09 is equal to one euro. We lay out our information in a similar way again, but with us trying to find out what $1 is worth. We divide up and multiply across. 1 divided by 50 multiplied by 45.68 gives us 0 0.9136. Therefore, approximately 91 cents is equal to $1. We have now created unit ratios for the conversion of dollars to euros and vice versa. To summarize, when changing between currencies, present the information as a ratio. Lay out the information you've been given. Use the ratio given or unit ratio combined with our Duma technique to identify the missing value. Have a go at converting and solving these problems. If you like this series, be sure to comment, like and subscribe to be kept updated on new in-depth videos and most importantly, share. I mean, what's the point of knowledge if you can't share it, right? And if we can make some people not give up on maths because of these videos, then our job is done. Don't see a topic you need help with? Suggest topics in the comment section. Thanks again for watching and for learning. Peace.